second and ten. And here comes their great running back from Michael James exploding. He's closing in on the Pac-10 all-time freshman rushing record. Brent, look how physical he is here. He runs right through the linebacker's arms, and that's what you have to respect about Masoli. Wildcats expecting to pass, and they're going to get it. Stepped off for a first down. Masoli came to Ed Dixon, who is his preferred target. Uh, Jeremiah Masoli showing people the doubters about his ability to throw the ball. It's a simple lead for him. It's right in front of him, and he gets it to his favorite target, Ed Dixon. Good job on that offensive line on third down and long, and giving Masoli enough time to be able to find that open area and eventually get the ball into the hands of Ed Dixon. Big conversion there for the Ducks. Play action, and inside the five-yard line, Jeff Mayer. Ken showing it here on first and ten, trying to get the defense to uh, come up and respect the running game, and that's exactly what they did. And so they're trying to change it up. He keeps it himself. Cuts back against the grain. Touchdown! But because they over pursued it, it allowed Masoli to cut back. But this is one of the few offenses in the country that will actually read a defensive tackle or nose guard as opposed to just reading the defensive end. And here it is, third down and 12 now for Arizona. Foles. Now he's forced, he's going to be sacked. Brought down by Eddie Pleasant from behind. Number 11 rolling in on him. Well, Eddie Pleasant had a big night tonight. We called the USC game. He's going to come on a delayed blitz, and he never gives up on it. Fights through Adam Grant, who picked him up initially. Great coverage downfield, and with the speed that Pleasant had coming from the backside, he's easily uh, allowed to be able to take down Nick Foles. Masoli off the fake going deep. And a perfect strike. The butter running the football. James patiently waited. And he is across the 20-yard line. A 2 and 8 isn't just a big game. It sets everything else up within this offense. Now you get back to getting James the football. The offensive lineman having to the edge. Second and 13. And again, throws a incomplete. The line judge had an incomplete. I'm sure they'll take another look at this one. Let's see if he catches the ball as his left foot touches. And the left foot looks like it's down as he goes loose. It was determined that the receiver caught the ball with a foot inbounds. Yeah. First and goal at the five-yard line. Third and goal. Couldn't find a receiver. Now, touchdown. Jeff Mayer. Spots Jeff and they hook up at the end of this play. And he did not give up on this play. He makes a little pirouette here, gets to the outside. Now look at Mayo sitting right there at the bottom, about the two yard line. Ed Dixon. Foles sacked again. Now they're, they're bringing the pressure again. Aliotti is bringing everybody here, especially on first and ten. We're, you, we're not accustomed to seeing Foles get much pressure. I think what Nick Aliotti decided to do is test the size of that offensive line. Masoli. And finding Eddie Dixon. The Roses are out in Tucson. Masoli will try to run for it. He's got it. It's the first time they brought pressure. They brought the linebackers, and it's the first time that we've seen Masoli out making a play within the running game since. Oregon feels that they can outcondition you in the fourth quarter. That their up-tempo attack will keep them going. Middle high caught by the five-yard line. That is Jeff Mail making a huge play for the Ducks, and it'll be first and goal. Uh, Jeff Mail, along with Ed Dixon, are the go-to targets for this Oregon offense. The ball is high, pretty good coverage by Wade, but the body position by Mail is the reason he's able to catch this ball. Just notice how he kept it. They've been looking back at the sideline here, and Masoli walks in. When that hole opens up off his fake to James, there's just nobody there to take the quarterback on. Tui Hot 
You want to help me on that? Yeah. Tui Haka Laka. <laughs> Vuna. Vuna. Vuna comes down that time and it made it so easy. That's been bringing pressure. Let's sit him back. This could be holding. And that could be intentional grounding. That was, that was Ferris. James on a cutback hole. There's 14 more yards. He's starting to pick it up here, Herbie. Yeah, it looks like they may go up tempo here, but there's the vision of LaMichael James. He's in complete, he's in 100% speed mode, and he took time. This for the tie. Morgan Flint with a 43 yarder. Hits the crossbar and goes across. We are deadlocked. Headed all the way, Herbie. <laughs> it's a line drive to center field. I think the crowd thought it was going to be short. He didn't hit it very well. But he got the take it. Yeah. Boink. Stop him here and they'll force a punt. They do not want to give a big gain on this play. Strikes deep. End zone. Got a man. Incomplete. Intercepted or something. Wow. wow. He's talked about maybe being too conservative. And on third down and long, they take a shot. And, you know, Turner actually got his hands on the ball. But because of he, he tipped the ball, Jackson never gives up on the play coming from the backside. Makes the interception and definitely controls that football. 3-11 from Masoli. And right away, he attacks for nine yards to open up this series with the sure-handed Jeff Mayle. The Flexed out to the top as a tight end. Got the first down and out of bounds. 06 for the game. Third and 11 for Masoli. And trying to run forward Davis, he's got a chance. He's got the first down. A gutsy third down running play. And Michael James picks up the first down. Here's the vision in a quick step. I mean, the one thing you love about James, not just the speed and the toughness, but the vision. And fourth down and five. It has come to this. Here's Masoli. Fires got the first down. 18 ticks of the clock left. Mail, the reliable one. 15 yards away. Roll to the left. Fire out of bounds. Masoli lobs his own. We're one point away from a tie. Eddie Dixon. Morgan Flint. That step. Put down. And Flint saves it. Nate Costa was the holder with a good pair of hands that time. We're deadlocked. Brent, how about Ed Dixon moving right here to the inside and makes a little move to the outside to get just enough room and get it away from Robert Golden. He was flexed out, a little move to the outside, Golden bit on it, and then he goes back to the middle of the field and a perfect throw. And how about the poise by Jeremiah Masoli leading? And look at some of the students are making their way back to the seats. And what a good job Costa did with that hole. Us fighting for that football. Here comes James. Bursting middle, five. First and goal. Set the new freshman rushing record for the Pac-10, does it again. How about his jump cuts? And how quickly he accelerates off of them. If you go... Masoli rolling to the left. Fires end zone. Coming up with a brilliant catch is Jeff Mayo. I don't know if there are very many receivers in the Pac-10 conference much better than Jeff Mayo. 6'1", 175 pounds. Masoli. Inside the five-yard line. Masoli, Oregon wins it. The Ducks will play Oregon State in Eugene for the right to go to the Rose Bowl.